Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Laura's classroom. Now for today I wanted to start off with just um, some thoughts on physical activity and why it's important for you um, to have an all-around healthy lifestyle. Now there are a few reasons I wanted to talk about. Now physical activity can improve your muscle strength and boost your endurance. Now endurance is very important for a lot of reasons, especially if you're on any sports teams and you're, you're a grade level. A lot of you guys go to gym class, you're on sports teams. Um, let me know by the way in the comments, are you in basketball? Are you in um, soccer, track? Track is great for endurance because you might be running for five minutes and you really need to endure running and doing all those activities. So if you're really good physically, your body, then that really helps you to have all around great healthy lifestyle. So besides the muscle strength and gain big muscles, you can also exercise, um, sorry, exercise also delivers nutrients and oxygen to the tissues of your body and it helps your cardiovascular system. Now, do we know what the cardiovascular system is? You think cardio, now that means heart. So we're talking about everything that's associated with our heart. So you might hear people say a lot, have you done any cardio today or cardio this, cardio that when they're referring to working out. That's, that means getting our heart going. All right. Some examples, which I know you guys have done, is running, um, jumping jacks, jump roping. So even after this vlog, if you ever want to do some cardio, get your jump rope out. I'm sure some of you guys have jump rope, just jump rope. You're going to help your heart and all around good health. All right. So also leave in the comments some other things that could be cardio. Another example could be treadmill. You know, something gets your heart racing. So give some examples of what you do or what you could do that could be cardio workouts, all right? So another um, a good reason for physical activity is when your heart and lung health improve, you also have more energy to tackle your daily chores. Now that really goes for your age frame and your grade group because you're always doing chores, right? Mom and dad, your aunt and uncles, grandma, whoever you see, some type of adult is giving you chores to do. So what's something that maybe physical activity can help with that? Making you get them done quicker, right? So I know we would all like to get done our chores quicker. So if you're in a good physical mind frame and body frame, you can get that done quicker. So always keep that in mind. If you're doing jump rope or you're doing gym class, you're doing these work at these little classrooms with, with Miss Laura, just say, oh, well, this is gonna help me with my chores later. So that's always a good thing. Now, I also wanted to give you an example of some type of physical activity you can do in your house. And I want to show you some weights. Now, some of you might have some weights. I have weights, I have five pound weights. Now, if you don't have weights, that's fine. You could take something in your house that's a little heavy and say, oh, mom, is this about five pounds or so or whatever for your body frame would be good. Something not too heavy where you're gonna get hurt but also not too light where it's really not doing anything. Like if I pick up this ball, this is nothing. This isn't gonna do anything for my workout. So I have my weights. So I wanted to work with the biceps. The biceps is this muscle right here in, our, in your arm. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna, instead of counting, we're gonna use some bigger words. How about we use a word like inform? That's a good word, right? It's not too short, not too long. I wanna do about six or seven um, curls, so I think that's a good word. So we'll do inform. All right, so I'm gonna hold up my weight and go I N F O R M inform. And I'm gonna take my other weight and do that with my left arm now. Same thing I N F O R M inform. So use other words associated with your grade level, your STEM words, like maximum is another good one if you want to do a longer set, um, current, correct, a little shorter. So just use big some words like that, that would help instead of counting. And then you'll get your muscles and, the, and like I said, the biceps are right here. So that will help out your bicep. And then come back to Miss Laura's classroom for more workout tips and other um, health tips as such. Don't forget, drink some water before and after your workout. That helps boost everything as well and gets all your juices going. All right, take care.